We are live. Whether you are here live or on the replay, thank you for joining me. We are going to jump right into the brand new, not brand new, updated Mammals unit from the Good and the Beautiful. We will cover the course book. Then we'll look through the student journals. The book pack is here. And then we've got the reader, reader suggested reader for the older kiddos. So we'll hop into these. And if we haven't met yet, hi there. I'm Elaine from On the Same Page Together. We are a Christ-centered home of learning, and on this channel, we talk about all things family. We like to share what works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. So this unit has 14 lessons. Here's that book pack. The lesson extensions are in the older student journal, and here's the supplies list. Two pages. If there's something that you don't have in here, I suggest taking a look at the activity in the lesson and make sure it's something that you want to do before you purchase it. Vocabulary. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like to put a little flag in the book and just kind of come back and review all of our words up to that point and then move along from there. Oh, we've got a lot of them in here. And here's the lessons. All of these little symbols take you to something. The key is, oh, key is back here. I'm sure you saw it. What they are, activities, different things. And then here's where it tells you to go do the lesson extension. The world map is probably in the student journal. Yep, so that must, oh, that is awesome that they've added a little note of the journal. That makes it easier to find. Some of these earlier ones that we're going through right now in class do not have those note those images so that i'm glad that they've added that that's awesome baby elephant so i'm gonna guess this is gestation life birth and lactation okay i'm excited for this i just got done filming the arthropod unit so that's updated and was released with this one not super exciting for me but this one i am totally thrilled and i think all of my kiddos are going to be excited about this one. So if you want to check out the arthropods one, that is linked in the description box for you. And if at any point you need me to speed up or slow down, there's a little setting button in the right-hand corner that you can use to adjust. This is the key to one of the journal items. <laughs> yeah, I think my kiddos are going to have fun with this. And arthropods, I think I have one kiddo interested, but this one, this one, in fact, might have to move up past a few of our other units that are in queue because it's just one that I think they're going to love. Maybe I'll wait till after we finish paleontology, though, because they're really loving that one. jump into those journals. Now I'm trying to do these side by side so you can get a good feel for them. But here's one thing that I noted when I picked it up out of the box. That was one of the thickest student journals I have seen to date in these courses. Like this is heavy. This is the older one, but they're both pretty darn thick. So it's not super great at flipping them through them side by side, but I think that will give you the best view because these have the student journals and student lesson extensions. And so I like to do those family style. And if that's something you like to do too, you may have younger kiddos that are not in this range and you're wondering, do I have to buy both? Could I get away with just the one? So that's why we're going to flip through them side by side. And hopefully that will be helpful for you as you make that decision, if that's one that you need for your family. So these are 
stickers, world animal, world map animal stickers. Let's get to that here. This one has all of them. All of them are listed here because of the lesson extensions. Over here, we have, see, we don't have lesson two or four. So there are, there are missing a few here, but this is probably likely due to the lesson extensions. That is exactly the same. Let's see if we can. Mammal characteristics. So we have here, let's see. Okay, so here's an example of the difference in expectation for these. The pages don't even look the same. You have mammary glands here the different things, right? So this is write something you learned about each mammal characteristic. Repeat each characteristic aloud three times as you color this page. So there is a difference here and that doesn't mean that you can't have them just color these things, maybe draw something for younger kiddos, but there is that difference. So it goes into this page because it has these. And then if we turn the page here, we have the first lesson extension, the mammalian ear. Coming into, there's nothing in here for lesson two. So then you just get the lesson two extension. Having a litter. Oh, it's going to be so fun. You see, you don't want to miss out on this. It's just so good. You want to do it anyway. So here's that. Um, I'm not even going to try to read that upside down, but my booklet. We've got, it looks the same. Nope, it is different. Let's compare that here somehow. How do we compare this? We've got here, number of toes per foot, and they write it in. And this one, they're circling it. And then is it partial or full hoof? And they write it in here. So that's not the worst. They could circle this still and write in the number. Number writing is great. And then if we turn the page here, those look the same to me. And these two over here look the same to me as well. And we're going to have that lesson extension, I'm sure. Lesson extension on horse hoods. Oh, I got a kid that's going to be thrilled. Let's see if I'm keeping these in shot. And then digestive system, elephant puzzle. Okay, so you're probably gonna have it here. Yep, same thing. That's an extension for the sloth, another marvelous mammal. It sure is. I like that the, oh, you're gonna put it in here. I like that these have the lesson number up on the top. So that's the same. Got the same thing going on here. Your lesson extension on intelligent primate mates. Intelligent primates. Oh, okay. Ferocious felines. Let's see here. Oh, this looks very similar. Back to the description to the next two pages. Yeah, it's, this is very, very similar, if not exactly the same. We got the snow leopard. It's looking to be the same to me. Thank you, thank you. You are so welcome, BNW. I'm pretty sure you have asked me about the comparison before. So this, you have inspired me to do these side by side because it is a good comparison to see. They are, their thicknesses are different here, but their pages themselves are not too different yet. Meerkat versus mongoose. Okay, let's get back to that page. Here we go. Yep, those are the same. And those two look just the same to me. Let's turn these carefully because we want every page tracks. I cannot expect that to be different. Yep, there we go, nice and easy. That's an extension, training canines. But that's not gonna be in the other one. So we got mixed up animal creations. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Yep. And then we got 
these guys. Oh, these are different. Okay, let's see. We've got write the facts you found most interesting from the activity. Most interesting. And then this is circle the facts you found to be most interesting. So this has all kinds of facts in here that they will then circle to see what they find most interesting. But this is also one of those where you could talk to your kiddo like, hey, what facts did you find most interesting? And then you write them in for them. That's totally doable, or you can let them draw another picture. That's fine too. And we have membranes. Some of these words I don't dare read upside down, guys, because it might take me a minute. All right, art study. And then we've got the same thing going on here. And we've got, yep, those are the same. Dental anatomy, bat body parts. That's a okay. There, it is a little bit. They have cut out here where you can cut and glue. So I'm gonna guess that this, yeah, this does not have a like blank on the back for them to cut and glue. But you could also like swipe a quick copy of it on the copier if you have that option, and have it glue, have them glue it on where this one's got that backing left blank on purpose. Or, you know, have them draw lines. I sometimes have, when I have kiddos, even with this cut out and glue, I sometimes have kiddos just, they'll just draw a line to where it goes. They don't want to cut it out and glue it. So there's, there's that option too. We got aardvark and armadillo. Art study. I'm so intrigued by these art studies. That's probably what's helping the thickness of this book and all these extra notes. Okay, uh, we are not rodents. So cool. Bear species. Let's see if we can get this page to turn. Those are the same. And we've got 60. Yep, okay. Asian black bear, bear sloth, or the lesson extension. Okay, mammal conservationist booklet. Covers. Oh, these are the covers. They look exactly the same. And then we've got these. So they're going to be assembling these. Yep, glue here. And we've got some pictures. And here's the lesson extension. So that's the end of this. We have marine mammals. Oh, this is a long one. And then there's a whole like marine biology. So if you're looking for something to build upon, I guess you could do mammals before marine biology. I was thinking of doing it with the water units. Like you do that new weather and water one, and then the reptiles that, you know, animals that live in waterness and then the deeper animals. But you could also do mammals and then marine biology because those clearly go together. The other one's more of a stretch. Blink. Map. So here's where they'll put all of their stickers. And we've got here just the map on the next page. And there's something in the back here. Extra notes. Oh, that's just the other bit of this so that they could bind it in better. That's clever. Okay. And then we've got the map. Extra notes. Edit page here. That's what we do. And the binding. So these, once again, very similar. You can pick and choose if the adjustments that I mentioned would be a good fit for your younger one. And then if you do these um, lesson extensions, you could maybe just go with just this one if that's what you need. Or hopefully that helps you make your decision. Now, book pack. Our book pack comes with and mammals from down under. I'm so excited. Can you track it, mammals? Tracks are fun too. And mammals in small ponds. So we'll start with the little one. Why not? This one might be more of a um, slightly more substantial read aloud, or it could be one of those easier for younger kiddos. We'll have to, no, that's a more substantial read aloud. Oh, but it looks fun. Telling them about seasons. Let's see. Preparing for winter, spring, yes. Oh, that's fun. You're going to follow these guys through the different seasons. Oh, it's so cute. And they have the babies. Oh, goodness. 
That's how I'm excited for this unit. I did not realize just how excited I would be for this unit until flipping through it. That's the point of flipping through it, right? All right. Can you track it? You ever notice the tracks? Oh, that's so fun. So I mentioned in every video that I the where I fit these in is we do um, nighttime read-alouds before bedtime, and I like to do, um, when it's my turn to read, I like to do a educational reading and then a novel reading. So I will spend some time in a book that correlates with what we're studying and then some time in a novel before we head off to get ready for bed. So that's where I fit it in. But maybe for you, it's at breakfast or lunch or a special afternoon cuddle or while they're doing their student journal, especially in this unit, particularly where they've got like coloring and assembling and stuff, you could probably read during that if your kiddo is independent enough to do it themselves. All right, that's the tracks. Now they do have a, I think, Mammals for Littles or something book that was brought to my attention after I'd ordered. I didn't see it in the on the page when I was ordering. It wasn't very obvious. It's like hidden down in the lower stuff. So if you do have littles and you feel like this is a bit bigger than you want for them, then maybe check that out. I would have totally grabbed it if I had known. Hind paw, front paw. I was like, right, left, what's going on there? Um, but if that's something that you'd like me to check out, please let me know in the comments. My daughter is going to have a fit over that little book. Yes, right? So cute. Those babies. Oh, I'm sure we're going to have to pause and stare for a while. So anyways, <laughs> the Mammals for Littles book, whatever it is, I think it's a book or something. If you want to know more, let me know. And I will, down in the comments, I will then make sure to put that on my next order for when the next, whenever that is. And we'll take a look at it. So Prairie Dogtown. This is the recommended reader for the older kiddos. I'm going to guess chapter book. Let's see. Oh, well, kind of. Kind of. See, it's got like the that bigger. I think it's maybe just teaching you about them. Imitating their mother. So their birth to continuation. It talks about their moms. Real dangers. Each day of the bright summer weather. That's kind of fun. I like to grab these regardless of the age of my kiddos because like once again, like the extensions, we just did as a read aloud. Especially if you're doing like Little House on the Prairie as your novel. Imagine that connection. Good times. Okay, that is it. So if you have any other questions, please drop them down in the comments. I love being able to help you out in any way that I can. If you have any video requests, let me know down there. I really appreciate video requests because that helps me know what helps you. That's my goal here is to help you um, feel empowered and enjoy your homeschool journey. So anytime that I can do that is, oh, I feel like I'm fulfilling my purpose here on YouTube. So I have... Um, Linked a couple things in the description box for you that you can check out. And I will let's see. Love your flip throughs. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. I am grateful that they help you. I enjoy, I'm just more of a tactile person. I kind of want to look and see what's in there. So I figured that could be my little contribution to the YouTube world. And so if you want to check out other science units, I have done every science unit they've released that has student journals. They are linked in a playlist in the description box. And I will catch you later. Have a good one. Bye.